in Montreal. I get excited when I see the banners hanging. Will we see more in the not too distant future? Let's find out. Opening face off just moments away. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. And the extended stick ends that one. Champions got it along the boards. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Can't keep a hold of it. Rocked him in the open ice. And that's a smart heads up play by Suzuki. Montreal's in on the offensive attack now. Handles the pass. Anaheim's looking to break out. Sends it over to Suzuki. Moves the puck across to Slavkovsky. And it's a quick pass to Suzuki. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Matheson. Pokes the puck away. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Huge steal in his own end. Dishes it off. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Well, he's got vision and he's got creativity, but you gotta have the skill set in terms of the hands to be able to make a difference and have an impact, and that's exactly what he does as he drives into the net. The goaltender keeps him at bay. Here's a short pass to tip it from the right side and up the middle. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. That's good by Montembeau. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. The Ducks win the draw. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Across the line along the left wall. And they'll dump it in. Jostling for the puck but still maintains possession. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Nice poke check. Dvorak's picking up steam. Moves it to Armia. Stops him with the glove. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Matheson's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows and it builds, and you start to squeeze the stick tight. Man, James, does he ever look shaken up after that huge hit? I mean, I'm not sure if he got winded or if he's injured, but he's trying to make his way back to the bench. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Battle along the wall. The Canadians have it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. The Ducks take it along the wall. The Canadians look to start the transition game. Fires it into the offensive zone. And it's kicked away. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puck dumped in. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. The Habs will play it in their own end. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Broken up by Barron. Slides the puck across to Slavkovsky. He got all of that hit. Sends it quickly to tip it. Makes his presence known on the ice. Slides the puck down low. Chance in front! Nice save from point blank range. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Key rules to the game of hockey, one of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. Midway mark of the frame. Still no score in this one. Michaels won the draw and they're on the attack. Makes the save! He 
takes it over. Slides it across. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Subban. The half is the boards. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick feed to Johns. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Slides it quickly to Evans. Net knocked off. It's more and we'll get a face off. The setters will glide into the dot. Dots quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Brink. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Puts it in deep. The Hats gain possession along the wall. Scores! The birthday boy gifting one to himself. Yeah, he'd like more than one, though, wouldn't he, James? I mean, if it's going to be a present, it might be a big one. Happy birthday to me! I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick, he lets it go for the tally. Anaheim's taking the 1-0 lead here late in this first period. Well, anytime a goal is scored, James, it's a momentum builder for their team. And, and you know what? At the end of a period, it creates even more energy. You got the body language, you got the energy hitting the dressing room, and you get set to start the second. Now you got all that positive pent-up energy, and you look to start the second the same way you ended the first. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. The Habs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Feeds the puck up to tip it. Into the offensive zone. Shot! Makes the save as that goes off the glove. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Canadians win the draw. Feeds the puck over to Harvey Pinard. He says, let's get physical on that play. Bring the physicality tonight. From off the wall and onto a stick. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. The Canadians have it against the wall. Quick pass to Michael. And he takes the pass. Comes up to the beat. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Make a change. Make a change. Cuts to the paint. Denies him! The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Denies him! He got all of it!
see if that first period action carries over here. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Ducks are being rewarded for getting pucks and funneling them through to the net, James. And not on the perimeter, they're looking to attack. Passes it to Matheson. Fires it on net. Good eyes on the play. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Nice feed from the right wing. Jabs the puck away. Moves it to Faber. The Habs scoop it up along the boards. Moves the puck to Slavkovsky. Broken up at center by Johns. Big time hit. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies and that one perfectly executed. Puck sent over to Michael. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. The Canadians crossed the line and came the zone. And that's intercepted by Niskanen. Tippett's got it against the boards. And the defenders come up with the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that one's denied. Quick feed to Tippett. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Picked up along the boards by Darlene. Broken up in the neutral zone by Barron. Puts it on net. Turns it aside with the glove. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Ducks lead it 1-0. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Into the attacking end. The Ducks gain possession. Here's a short pass to Richards. of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Oh, he rocked him! Puts the puck away. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Subban. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Sends it in deep. Quick pass over to Champion. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that pass goes off a stick. And a solid stop on the play there. Oh, look at that! Moves the puck. Oh, he stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can speak one by. The Ducks will get their other power play unit out here as they start from their own end. Jostles the puck loose. Looking to get it out. Oh, and they can't get it out as they are still stuck in their own end. Yeah, and this is a tough one. Now they're fatigued, James. They score! A power play goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. Gotta love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. now gone up by two here in the second and what a performance so far they have been absolutely dominant Cheryl they've been dominant I think their coaching staff will like the performance that they put in so far it'll be about capitalizing and finishing the rest of the way but their possession the majority of shots everything's in their favor right now takes the feed Richards setting up against the wall and a poke check knocks the puck away through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Crisp 
going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Anaheim's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Enters the offensive zone from the left. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that banks off a stick. Montreal's in transition. Puck scooped up by Cooley. And he easily stops that one. Silverberg's got it in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Niskanen. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Here's a shot. He scores! Well, hands, hands, and four minutes on that play. Magic mitts, James. And you know, it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet. And man, this was a clinic. But after the deep, the ability to finish two all the way around, textbook. They say practice makes perfect, James, and he's executing in the game because of it. I mean, look at the way he can move in tight spaces. He's got hands that can just dangle. And when he finds the back of the net, his opponent's just kind of looking at him. There it goes again. The Ducks have been moving and grooving all night long, and we're only in the second period here, Founder. Well, they're finding a way to get the puck, and that's because they're retrieving it. But when they get it, they're keeping it. They're not letting anyone have it, and the motion in the offensive zone has been incredible. And the score is a result. Slides the puck over. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Angles it over to Faber. Knocked around, but keeps it going. And a great save! A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Now that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. That's moved up ahead. Now a quick pass to Brink. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Can't get it to go. And he takes the feed. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Passes it over. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Puck grab by Faber. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Grabbed along the board by Brink. That's some good footwork to kick it away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Top dances around the check. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Montreal's on the attack. Moves it to Arvia. Gets in front of it for the block. Sends the pass over. Comes up with a blocker save. The Habs have it from the corner. Taken by Armia. Here's a blast. Big time stop there. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Ducks with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Evans wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. He tips it. He scores! changes direction because it deflects off of a defender in front. Real tough puck luck. Montreal's goal has suddenly put them right within two. It's really difficult to play a full 60, but when you can finish off the end of periods really strong and get yourself back in it, it bodes well for the beginning of the third. Quick feed to Dvorak. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Slides it on over to Darlene. And now he moves it to Johns. Fires it, and it backs off a stick in traffic. Center into the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. They fight for it along the boards. Anaheim's got the puck. Back to the point it goes. Picked up along the way by Subban. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Champions got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Takes a shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. Quick pass to Armia. Shot! Puck picked up by the Chris Chris is gonna hang on for a whistle. 
Subban's been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. possession here in their own end. Faber's got it in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's a short pass to Richards. Montreal's got possession at center. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Great save by Montembeau. Lots of fly. At least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Subban's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Montembeau's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's got a 3-1 lead. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Hammers it on net. Close save. Somehow got a piece of it. Enros got the puck and he's walking the blue line. Here's a pass down low. Solid check to slow him down. Slides the puck to Slavkovsky. Great read with the stick. Matheson's got it across the line. And he slides it quickly to Suzuki. Gaining momentum up along the side. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Denied by the puck stopper. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Anaheim's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Ferris loving the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that's off target as it hits a body. And he takes the feed. The Ducks have it from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Tippett. The Ducks take it across the line. Here's a shot. Big time stop. He's like a magician out there. The puck is on his string. He can maneuver around his opponent. And he gets net front and just can't execute because the goaltender is right there and makes a nice save. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. You gotta find ways to get pucks to the net. Montreal's gonna start with the puck on their own end. The Habs take it across the blue line. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Silverberg. Tippett's got the puck. And he keeps possession. The score! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, once you get the puck into his hands, you know that he's going north, James, because he's got incredible lightning-fast speed, and he shows it on this last play and is able to deliver just a gift of a pass, and they execute for a goal.
The Ducks are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Launches them into the boards. Takes the cross-ice pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Niskanen. Takes the pass. Silverberg's picked up a few assists in this game, and his team is leading. I mean, when the puck's on his stick, he's making things happen. His awareness, his ability to thread the needle, it's off the charts tonight. Moves to Niskanen. Looks to get the puck over to Tippett. here in this third period. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Takes a shot. Quick stop by Montembeau. Oh, and he completely lost the shot. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Caulfield. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Anaheim's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. The Ducks win the draw here at their own end. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Makes the save. Handles the puck. Keeps possession on the play. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Brink. Takes the feed. Directs it on over to Enron. Tosses it to Brink. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Puts him hard into the wall. Sent into the offensive zone. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Darlene's got it in the defensive end. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the post check. Brink's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. The Penguins are up next, according to the league schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. won the draw. And that goes off a player. Picked up along the board by Johns. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Anaheim's show no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Handles the pass. And it's a quick pass to Richards. And now he moves it quickly to Darlene. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are. And when you take away the eyes of the tender, this is exactly what can happen. Anaheim's 
playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. And he lowers the boom there. They gain the zone from the left side. Matheson's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Silverberg. Great timing to come up with the interception. Now over to Richards. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Turned aside with a glove by Primo. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Ducks offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. Rossi's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Drives to the paint. Too much congestion in front. Oh, what a save on the play. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this bar tonight, and I don't think anybody in Sheffield like it. No. Sure, I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket, and if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there, but you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. going north. Here's a short pass to Rossi. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Anaheim's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. No room for that one to get through. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Primo. Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Ducks have traded tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. A chance! on this play here, James. I mean, I thought he was going to shoot. I think everyone thought he was going to shoot because he is driving the net. He is shielding it with his body, with his arms and shoulders, and he finds a way to make this pass. Incredible play. Anaheim's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. 